Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Christmas channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so <laughs> we have someone out here that may be trying to bring some type of problems to a high vibrational energy. They want you to be in prison. They want you trapped in your mind. They want you to be stuck. Uh, it's a woman here that tried to block you but ended up exposing herself. Or this could be a masculine that tried to block you but ended up exposing herself. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Someone, someone wants you out here in some type of anxious state. You don't know what's going to happen to your future. Am I going to be homeless? Am I going to uh, end out on the streets? Am I about to be broke, busted, and disgusted? Why don't people love me? Is it the end of my life? Is someone trying to harm me? Like someone wants you just confused and all over the place. You know why? Because this is what they have told someone behind the scenes about you. That you are mentally unstable. You are mentally, un mentally ill. So... They've had to take actions behind the scenes to have you come across as being someone that is mentally ill because they know they are both is lie, okay? You are highly intelligent, more intelligent than these people that got together to come up against you because maybe one sense in your mind would have told you, I don't want to be a part of that. That ain't going nowhere. It's stupid as heck. This is a waste of time. Why would I want to be part of something childish? None of their brain cells told them not to do that, but you apparently are the retarded one. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this read. They've been coming after a whole Empress energy that is genuine as can be with the Six of Cups out here. Baby, followed by the freaking Ace of Cups. So you are someone very genuine, direct connection to Source. Self-master, baby, you could be a higher fan in your own right, right? Someone very traditional in a sense. I don't think you're specifically religious. I'm not picking up on religion. But I think you're someone that's traditional. You may also be someone that... It's like you have quite a, a unique personality. You're traditional, but you are not someone that's, that goes with the norm. So you're kind of like a, a hybrid or whatever it is we want to call you. You do things your own way. But there's a woman out here or a community, a group of friends that are obsessed with blocking you, stopping you, destroying your life, having see, having you be seen in some type of energy that's not yours, but you keep coming up as the queen of cups. Whatever it is they do, they said they can't hinder your energy. They cannot uh, make you do something that you don't want to do. It's like people trying to temper with your energy so you can end up self-sabotaging touching before someone comes towards you uh so you end up saying something reckless doing something reckless and then he'll say oh my gosh they're right this woman really is crazy this person really is mentally ill but it's a it's not happening no matter what they do you're still calm as can be you're still polite uh you're still compassionate you're still genuine and it has them pissed off okay it has them pissed off uh there is someone out here that's in the reverse I don't know if this is your soulmate that fell from grace. I don't know what it is they did to fall from grace, but they're absolutely pissed off uh, that something is not going according to plan. They've been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes, and now they got, they're got in. Excuse me. Someone has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes, okay? I don't know if this is a higher level soulmate or someone that was high vibrational before and partook in something they should not be partaking in or someone maybe just fell from grace and now they're trying to figure out how to balance the situation out with you. Excuse me. Um, but something is a, a burden on a lot of people. Yeah, this is someone that was collaborating against you. Okay. You could have someone trying to figure out how to come towards you. Uh, to balance a situation out. Maybe they're even trying to... I heard something about serve. Someone may be getting served some paper, papers. Um, but it's not something that is legit. <laughs> is there some type of plot to have you feel uneasy? 
make you feel like, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh my gosh, I'm going through this again. Oh my gosh, something is about to happen. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Baby, it ain't nothing. Okay, these people are bothered at the fact that you are disciplined. You are a self-starter. You are a self-motivator. You are determined to make it in life. If only they would invest all of this time into themselves instead of into you. Baby, how beautiful their lives would be. People stand to lose everything and they're still coming after you. It don't make no sense, does it? It does not. Yeah, they're trying to trap a star seed. They're trying to burden you, worry you, have you living in an anxious state. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay attention to these people in any ways, shape or form, okay? Yeah, they're, with, they're hoping. <laughs> these people are hoping to be able to control your destiny, control your energy, control your money, control your finances. Someone may have even been trying to steal your finances or something of that nature, accessing bank accounts and things like that, just so that they can have you in a lower energy. These are people very reckless and impulsive. I don't know who this temperance energy in the reverse is but someone is very reckless and impulsive as heck trying to come towards you to do you something trying to take some type of hasty action come towards someone who is independent does not like your independence and self-sufficiency they want to dismantle that and have you living out in the cold in poverty living just broke busted and disgusted but they're unhappy because you keep staying in this uh self-sufficient energy this wholesome energy humble energy and just focusing on your life I don't know why these people are this focused on you. Um, baby, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I think it has to do with blocking a union. Okay? Blocking a union. You're taking charge of your life and moving forward. It could be a king of swords wanting to come towards you. I don't know if he's afraid of coming towards you, communicating something to you. Maybe this is something someone that did something to you in the past, and maybe they're worried about how you're going to take it. Or this could be someone that's coming towards you to try to take you out because... They've done everything else to take you out and they they haven't had any success, right? So now they're coming into your energy to do you something. There's a group that's collaborating with this man behind the scenes. So when he comes in, he's going to try to make something seem like it's wish fulfillment. I don't know if he's coming in with an offer or some type of uh, uh, finan financial offer or love offer, whatever it, it is. Uh, this man is collaborating with a group of people, a group of friends. To come towards you and give you some type of disingenuine offer. And you are being told to listen to your intuition. These people could be listening to their intuition. But maybe they're choosing not to go with their better judgment. Uh, may still be trying to get out here and do some malicious things. So whoever is coming towards you is coming in with a disingenuine offer. This is something that is meant to cause you some type of loss. But there may be some type of truth exposed um, and this person is going to have to cut their losses and move on because you're not going to be accepting anything from this person. There's a more genuine energy that's going to come towards you to balance something out um, and they know exactly when to do that or they're working on when to do that. When someone comes towards you, there's something they're, they're going to say to you um, that's going to let you know that it's the right person and you'll know exactly what it is once they uh, vocalize that, Okay. Uh, someone is hoping that you'll know by them saying that that, you, that they're genuinely interested in working with you or collaborating with you. Uh, there's a king of cups that's afraid. This person could be intuitively gifted, but he abuses this gift. And it's something that more than likely may end up being taken from him. Uh, he could be wishing to trap you or wishing to reconnect with you. Someone is hopeful that they can connect with you, but I don't think that's happening. Someone is going through some type of financial like. This is the person that has fallen from grace. This is someone that's going through some type of financial instability, has fallen from grace. So this is someone you more than likely dated. This is someone from your past, may have had a family with them, and they betray you to collaborate with these group of people on false promises or something. He may feel trapped and wishing to come towards you, but he can't um, because he's binded to some type of contract. Maybe he signed a contract with these people. And so then he's not free to leave. Maybe he got married or something like that to someone and he's trapped in the relationship. Maybe he got paid to collaborate with these people or to take some type of reckless or impulsive action towards your investments and things like that. Whatever this is, is coming back to bite this masculine really horribly in the behind. Uh, and he may be living with a lot of regrets trying to reach out to you, but you're not responding or not receiving the messages. There's some type of tempering going on with this two of swords out here. There's some type of tempering going on with communications. Uh, 
yeah, with communications or something, okay, information. There's some type of tampering that's going on. There's a lot of blockages and still is going on. This man may be afraid of someone investing in a connection with you. Uh, he does not want someone giving to you, building with you, being solid with you, okay? Uh, I'm just really, this is alarming that a whole, like someone was like an, a temperance energy and they fell from grace. I don't know what he did. But maybe he fell from grace. He fell from grace really hard. Really, really hard. That's alarming. Mm, mm, mm. What did you do? I guess I guess going against your twin flame will do that. Man. And it's like I'm getting someone betrayed you, fell from grace, and then they're upset that you don't want to connect with them or reconcile with them. How does that work? Like, you made the decision. Yeah, I said it. Be cautious with this king of swords. Someone is trying to figure out how they can sabotage you, how they can end you, how they can stop two people from coming together. And he's been hired to do that. This man has been hired to do that. He got paid a hefty amount. I don't know if he was promised something. Like you do, you, you get this now, and then when you finish the job, you get the rest. It's something like that. But he's trying to figure out how to sabotage you, how to end you, destroy you, hurt you, okay? End your wish fulfillment, block your wish fulfillment. And all of these people are going to be disappointed because something is still going to go in your favor. Yeah. King of Pentacles, this is a message for you. They are trying to figure out how to sabotage you. Like the Ten of Swords is out here. They are trying to figure out how to end you. Okay? They are trying to figure out how to end you so that you don't give an offer or come together with someone. And let me write that down so I can remember because I think this is an important message for a King of Pentacles. How to end you. Okay. This is a message for a king of swords. You feel trapped and binded in a situation. You need to let go of these people. Cut your losses and move on. They are trying to figure out how to take you out. They take something from, steal from you. You could be someone that's very content in life and you need to think. You are someone that's very insightful. Listen to your intuition. Put two and two together. I don't know what kind of contract you are under or what kind of contract you have with these people but there's a plot on you to take you out and i mean cold-blooded out of here either to trap you in some type of situation that you cannot get out of or no one would be able to find you get out of this institution leave that listen to your intuition i'm being told to tell you to listen to your intuition get out Listen to your intuition. I don't know how else you want me to say that. There's some type of uh, warning your ancestors have been giving you. The spirit realm has been giving you. They've been telling you to let go of something. I don't know if there's a lot of money on the line. I don't know what you are afraid of. You're very content in life. And these people are trying to take from you. Like they're trying to sabotage you. The woman of high honor you talk to is in on it. There's someone that has fallen from grace. A king of cups is in on it. A king of swords. The community, they are in on it. They know. There's a plot against you. I don't know if you're sitting comfortably like a fat duck. And these people like ducks. And you're just sitting there looking greasy and juicy as heck. And they're about to strike. You may want to move on. It's a, yes. Listen, I didn't even know this car was out here. Move on, sir. Because these people are plotting a tower for you. They're plotting on stealing something from you. They're plotting on stealing from you. You need to run. Leave something. Cut your losses and move on. You you got the, the ten of swords and the three of swords on you. You need to move on. I don't know what it is with these people. What your contract is. That contract is not worth your life. If there's a lot of money attached to it, the money is not worth your life. But they are plotting on you. Mm, 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 mm. 
Don't say I didn't tell you. You feel trapped. I don't know why you feel trapped. Oh, they're trying to trap you. They're trying to manipulate you. There's something like that. I don't know if they're trying to manipulate you and you're trying to outlast them or something like that. But these are not people to be playing games where they're very desperate to have something go in their way. They're very desperate to force something to go in their favor. They're very desperate to block two people from coming together, i.e. you and a feminine energy from working together. Run, Forest, run. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.